younger than you. Yeah, but if you were to go out to a nightclub right now, or to a pub, there's young people that would look at you and be like, you're a cougar. What, like young 20-somethings? 20 20-somethings, 20 yeah. And they'd like, they'd, you know how like, I remember when I was like 18, 19, I used to pick up chicks that were 30 and I'd be like, took home a cougar last night. Good morning, you absolute legends. I'm back in Melbourne. I'm not in New Zealand or Tasmania or anywhere like that. I'm actually going down for a coffee with Social Spinner. Hey. My good mate, Social Spinner, uh, Aaron. He's uh, come, we're gonna go for a ride. We're gonna go for a coffee first and then we're gonna go for a pedal. We're just heading down to the bike tailor. I've got to uh, tighten a few uh, bits and pieces on the bike, on the wheel. The cones on the rear wheel are a bit loose. Uh, Shawnee over here is working on my bike. I've got a bit of lateral movement in the uh, in the rear wheel and it just means that the cones on the on the hub body have just come loose. So Sean is going to tighten them up for me. They do develop a bit of play every now and then. I'll check this as well. Sometimes, whoops, sorry. Sometimes this one comes loose as well. This is not, it? It's not too bad, I think. Okay. Why do people use torque wrenches? Why? These days with carbon fibre, a bit like we were talking earlier, with clamping around the different bits, carbon Carbon can be very strong in one direction and it can be quite weak in other directions. You don't want to crush the fibers and the resin. So uh, a lot of companies have started getting very, very specific about what you can tighten up okay. different bolts and components on the bike. Okay. And so when they say something tight, something to four Newton meters, what yeah. do they mean? Well, literally that's the force that you're going to tighten the bolts to is to four Newton meters. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you can gauge that with a torque wrench. Exactly. So like this specific one will yeah. click when it gets to five Newton meters. Five Newton meters is generally the, the, the tightening t uh, spec for a lot of the bolts around the stem and the seat post area. Right. You do need to check and confirm. but. Most bikes with normal, you've got this whole integrated system going on. Yeah. Most bikes, you're gonna be there. So if that's the case, then something like this Richie's one, which is preset to five Newton meters. Okay. So as you tighten it up, it will yeah. click. Yeah. Like you'll feel it and it'll audibly click when okay. you get to five. Yeah. And it's got removable bits as well. So this one came with, that's a five mil, a four mil, a three mil, and then a T25, I think it is, the right. Torx 25. Okay. Pedros do something similar, yeah. also a preset one. Yeah. And then if you're lucky enough to have uh, been given one of these with your bike, so this is this particular one's a Bontrager one. Okay. I used to work at Cycles Galleria that did a lot of Trek. Yeah. A lot of their bikes would come with this one, and that's preset to five, yeah. and it's got its glued in the bit, it's a four. Okay. So most of the assembly in their bike was using that as well. Again, just a nice feel, click, makes it easy. So depending on what size is, so especially on your canyon where you need four mil, three mil, five mil different bits yeah. all in there and then you've got your, some of the newer uh, componentry these days are coming with the Torx bits as well. Yeah. So you've got all those different bits, but then what's really cool with this one, it's this nice ratcheting T-handle. Okay. It's got the two different bits, so you can use it just initially for like unassembling and reassembling just by putting in this bit. Yeah. And it just ratchets nicely. No way. What it's got though when you're assembling, and again, because everything has their different Newton meter specs, yeah. you know, so your little headset unit, the compression yeah. plug was four Newton meters, yeah. the two bolts that tighten onto the steerer tube but five Newton meters. Then inside the steerer is the compression plug, which is what this top cap screws into. Yeah. That sits in there, that's a five millimeter hex key yeah. at four Newton meters. Right. Then you've got your top cap, most bikes don't have this, but this is a Canyon's little system. Um, that's three Newton meters using a three mil hex bit. Oh, right. And then the bit that actually secures it onto the steerer, you got these two bolts which are four millimeter hex keys at yeah. five newton meters. Okay. So that's where this little baby comes in. It's it's not preset like yeah. some of the other tools you can get which are a bit easier and for most bikes are probably better where it's usually going to be five newton meters. Yeah. This one it it just it shows you using the indicator between yeah. zero and eight newton meters where you're sitting so while you're tightening up you can get it exactly to the right specs okay. so that you don't over tighten or under tighten depending on what you got 
and put, put it, it in your back pocket so easily so that if you're riding and like oh, damn it i'm a couple mil short on my saddle yeah let it out put the saddle up retighten it and you know you've put it to the right spec yeah whereas if you take a just a standard you allen key take your allen key you've kind chances of, are you could crush your you're doing it by feel post. and uh, back in the day when we we're all on steel bikes and that it was fine but these days yeah you definitely don't want to be crushing your seat post or your seat tube even worse yeah and then you have to have to go visit lucia technic How's it going? You nearly done? Nearly so done. this was this was fully brown. This is the cot. This was this is it here. But it was all brown. Hannah's sanded it back, and she's painted it this uh, this grey colour. Yeah, it's a beautiful light grey. It's a beautiful light grey. You're just nesting up a storm, aren't you? No. <laughs> There's the old lady from next door. I was just about to go out and get her paper, which is on the ground. Well, I just, all, I literally just walked through the door. It's funny uh, experiencing the nesting side of things, like observing Hannah as she gets more pregnant, sort of setting things up and stuff, which is quite normal for most pregnant women. And even the guy, to some degree, is just, you know. Right. Keep the noise down. I would always be like this without unless I reckon. I'm always like this. Alright legends, I'm rocking up doing the Tuesday night champs. Uh, for the first time in a long time, I'm going to be very curious to see whether I get dropped in this ride because it's. Uh, I've shown you guys a lot of footage over the years of the Tuesday night champs. It's one of the hardest rides in Melbourne in terms of fast speed. So, let's see if I make it through it. Saying to myself what's going on Do you like that broken song? Tell me how long So a bit of an old school riding narrated video here. This is the Tuesday Night Champs. We've uh, gone down to Morty Alec. This group leaves 6 p.m. from St Kilda every Tuesday night. They go down to Morty Alec, which is about 20 kilometres ride, just fairly cruisy, fairly city tempo, and you can see here on the way back, they really step it up, 50 kilometres per hour there. We've literally gone 200 metres. By about this stage, this is probably a kilometre or two kilometres back. I'm at 180 beats per minute on the left-hand side there, so that's nearly my max heart rate, and that pub on the right-hand side is where I made it to last time I rode this ride. Uh, very, very fast ride on the way back. It's always uh, a good workout. And uh, you can see here I'm sitting on this guy's wheel. He's leaving a very slight gap. It becomes more prominent as we go further up this little hill. And so I decided to go around him. As soon as you see little gaps open like that, you are best to just jump on the wheel of the passing riders just to move forward. Because once the gaps start to open, and that's when you can get dropped from the bunch. You can see here my heart rate's at 102, 182 beats per minute, so that's pretty much my max heart rate. I was really struggling to stay with this group. Uh, it's been a long time since I've done a fast group ride like this, and uh, you can see the, the power output popping up to 600 watts there. I made it all the way back to the Black Rock Tower there, and uh, probably about 100 meters after this, I was dropped. And that was the end of my group ride, but thoroughly enjoyed it. Despite being dropped, that was a really good ride. Like it was hard, it was fast. I was in the absolute hurt house there for pretty much most of it until I got dropped. And um, it was one of the few rides that I really enjoyed. So great ride, loved it. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Hopefully I'll do a few more of these. See you then. No, 30, 30 and over. 30, over. 30 and over is a cougar. So you could be 29 and I could be 30 Ooh. or 31 and I'd still be a cougar. Yeah. That doesn't make sense. You're a cougar. As soon as you hit 30, you're a cougar.